David Hill here with Coach Deshaun Burns of the Linfield Christian Lions and uh, a season that has been just uh, spectacular. But of course, the season means nothing as you get ready to play for a divisional title, a Southern Section title this Saturday against Artesia High School um, right here in the area. And uh, uh, talk to me, Coach. You know, you look on paper and you guys have a tremendous scoring situation. You're outstanding in your scoring. Uh, solid defensively. There's a 10 and three football team. Mm -hmm. You're 12 and one, and everybody in the world will say, you know, on paper, this should be a wash for Linfield Christian. You're a head coach. I know you think differently. I don't even want to get started with, you know, all the things that you were talking to them about in the huddle as they finished up their practice today for Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, by the thank way. You, thank yeah, you, thank let's you, not forget. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> Shoot, thank let's, let's go eat, yes, right? Yes, Forget yes, this. Yes, let's yes, go yes, eat, man. Go <laughs> I'm not here. trusting my brother to get it all together. Yeah, right, so yeah, I yeah, well, I got, we got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? So anyhow, let's talk about Artesia. Let's talk about the things that concern you the most about that football team. Well, they're they're ten and three, and that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. They're dancing on the dance floor in the divisional title game, so they've done things to get themselves here. Uh, they have playmakers, they have athletes, and they play their brand of football, and they're convicted in how they play it. So uh, they believe in what they do, and they do it well. So uh, they're going to come out and shoot their guns. And so it's important for us to understand that numbers mean nothing because they're in the same location that we are to get the same thing done that we're trying to get done. So they're going to come out and execute the way that they know how to execute. Right. Um, pushing all cylinders, um, mm -hmm. doing what they've been doing to get them to this point. So the reality is for them, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Exactly. And, and here's here's my thing, and, and you and I have you know, seen it at all levels and all that good stuff. And the kids at this level really understand that. Here it is. It's Thanksgiving mm -hmm. holiday. They were here at 7 o'clock this morning. Yes. They needed to be. Right. They had a, had a thorough work through up until 10 o'clock, and they had a thorough talking to. Yes. Do they understand the value and the magnitude of this thing? What, what are your impressions? I believe they do. I, I think that all teenagers, especially in this day and age with social media, there's a fine line between loving the hype and the process and then understanding the process. And so we try to do our best to keep them grounded and understanding that the process is the process. In order for you to get to the final stage of wherever you're trying to get to, you have to go through the process. And so never get too big, never get too low. One of my mentors told me that never get too high, never get too low. Stay somewhere in the middle and just keep grinding. So understanding the opportunities that are in front of you, the chance to continue to keep playing. Yeah. And this game is big. Why? Because it's the next game on the docket and you've earned the opportunity to be there on the dance floor. That's why it's big. Mm -hmm. Forget the title and this and that. It's a chance for you to continue playing right. the sport and, and the thing that you love. So make the most of that and understand how rare it is. It starts out with like 300 something teams yeah. and it's down to two. Right. So we're right. one of two right. being able to do this thing. Um, and it doesn't come by way of happenstance. you got to put hard work and dedication into it. Secondly, uh, you'll never play with the same team again. It'll never be the same cast of characters again. So make the most of this moment because it is truly special to be here, to be in this situation with the group of guys that we have assembled and the way this team is. We'll never have the same team ever again. You'll never, never play with the same guys again. Yeah. Not everybody's going to go to the same location and continue doing it. So focus on those things, you know. Yeah, no doubt. And, you know, it makes interscholastic sports, and I'm going to go more specifically, football mm -hmm. is a unique animal, is it yes, not? Yes. It's a unique animal and a unique opportunity to put that all together and have this time. It's pretty special to actually have a chance to come out and practice on it. That's that right. means you're, you're playing late into right. the season, That's right? right? That's, That's the special. Mm -hmm. This football team, this Linfield Christian High School football team, 12-1, and one, what – are you looking what what is going to be the most important thing they do coming out Saturday night? Play sound football. Okay. Do your job. DYJ. Just, okay. just play the like way it. we're capable of playing. Um, I don't think that we played our best football yet, to be honest with you. But we go over things with the fine tooth comb, and that's a blessing and a credit to the staff that I, that I have. Uh, we're meticulous, and so even when we think it's good, it's still not good enough, and we're still trying to get that perfect game so there's a little bit of insanity to it because we ever be perfect no but doggone it we're gonna try to be 99.99999 to the infinity power <laughs> right right to get there right and if we're not there we're clicking until we get there so um, it's just a matter of us going out and taking care of our business not recreating the will just do what we're supposed to do the way we're supposed to do it when we're asked to do it for as long as we're asked to do it the definition of linfield uh discipline 
It's all in the, it's all in the fabric of this football team, yes. is it not? Yes. Talk to our audience and, and walk us through, if you'd be so kind to do that, the process that takes place should you win Saturday night, mm -hmm. what then is the next expectation going further? Because now uh, I understand that you have a chance for a unification title, a state title. So what? walk our audience through that process because not everybody knows. Well, God willing, you know, the team comes out and does what they're supposed to do. There will be a, a regional game that is played. Okay. And then if those things happen the way um, we'd love to see them happen, then there will be an opportunity to play a state championship game. Okay. And then there's a process that goes we have to submit documentation and paperwork okay. and everything to bid to maybe have a be the host site for the state championship game. So, you know, I have to put the car before the horse. So, right. you know, take care of our business. Right. And if, if it would be God's will for us to continue doing this thing another week, do our thing for another week. And if it's God's will for us to be there a week after, okay. then so be it. And then it would, the strong, there would be a possibility that the state championship game could be, All right. you know, here. And that'd be huge for the school and just the area yes. and the environment and just the legacy and the history yes. of the program. It, it's just a lot of things that it opens doors for and just creates a, um, a sense of a legacy building yeah. for our school. Well, Coach, you, uh, I tell you what, I will tell you this, I kept my down jacket out mm -hmm. and ready to go. Mm -hmm. So that happened. Right, right, <laughs> you know, right. You know, the weather changed a little bit yes. and that feels good and mm -hmm. I'll be ready. And, right, right, right. and wishing you the best as you go about your business and this team goes about its business on Saturday night and in preparation for Artesia High School. Thank you. Okay, and uh, looking forward to seeing you some more. Happy Thanksgiving once again. You too. Best of luck to your son too this weekend. Thank you, thank they you They got a big much. game coming up as Thank well you. too. Here with Coach Burns, Deshaun Burns, my good friend, as he gets ready to take on Artesia uh, in, their, in their championship game come this Saturday night. David Hill with HSPN Sports. We thank KDA Foundation, our underwriter and sponsor for giving us a chance to come out here and be a part of this at this time. David Hill with HSPN Sports. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. Right. Wonderful. Thank you.